Hey guys, this weekend we're going to a festival called WOMAD, so I wanted to do a quick video about all the stuff that we're taking, which is a lot. It's all here at my feet, so I'm just going to randomly pull up things and tell you what's in our bag. First of all, tent. Um, this is actually downstairs at the moment because it's really quite big, but basically we have decided to invest in a bell tent. Um, it's basically a huge white canvas, a beautiful tent. Um, and it goes up really easy, apparently. We haven't tried it, we probably should have done. Uh, you can stand up in it, so it's super spacious, it's fully waterproof, apparently it's really warm at night. We're hopefully going to be going on loads of camping trips over the next couple of years. Um, really want to be a lot outdoors with Jack, so yeah, that's our tent. Uh, sleeping bags. So we've just got two single sleeping bags for me and Sam. One day I'd kind of like to invest in a double sleeping bag. Um, they sound kind of cute though. Someone has also told me that they're kind of annoying because you just want to kind of snuggle up in your own sleeping bag and get some sleep. Sun hat for Jack. So the weather forecast, um, it's kind of dodgy. Well, it's mixed, which actually makes packing super hard. So there's like a bit of sun forecast. Oh, that's really annoying. The Velcro bit has stuck to my tights. There's a bit of rain. There's a bit of clouds. It's kind of everything, which means you have to pack loads. Jack's red medical book with all of his records in, which I don't go away anywhere without. Nappies, so even though I normally use non-disposable nappies most of the time, when we go away or camping or something like this, I just figured, no, don't have facilities for washing and stuff properly, so actually going to go down the disposable route. Fancy dress, this is an Incredible Hulk onesie, which is Sam's, um, which is also really cosy, so I think that's actually going to be quite useful. Sunglasses, obs, giant bubbles. Um, which I think Jack's going to really love as well. Ergo carrier. So I think this will come in handy when we don't want to take the buggy slash if it's really, really muddy and it's not possible to take the buggy around with us, which I'm hoping is not going to be the case. But yeah, always good, I think, to have the carrier. Also, I think this will be really useful when we want a boogie and Jack can just be on our backs um, and we can be free of the buggy. Lights for the tent for night time. Formula milk for Jack. Um... Yeah, we just need that, obviously. Ugh. Inflatable mattress. Waterproof. Ear protectors for Jack-Jack um, for when the music gets quite loud. More fancy dress. It's kind of flower thing. At the moment, I feel like I have a lot of fancy dress um, and not much else. Ugh. Travel cot for Jack-Jack. Travel cots are so big. Blankets for Jack. I'm really worried about Jack being cold at night. I think that's my main concern, especially now with the weather forecast. So taking loads of blankets for him. Light and sunshade for Jack. So I think this is going to be really useful for the night time. So we always take this whenever we go out at night or on holiday. Just basically put Jack in the buggy and lay this over the top of the buggy and it just blocks out light and it really helps him sleep. I said I was worried about Jack at night and warmth. So this is like a sheepskin little rug that he has upstairs in his room. So I'm taking that just to put at the bottom of his travel cot to keep in extra warmth. Hiking booty things that are waterproof. Bindies, because I love bindies and it's a festival. Toilet roll, always take loads of extra toilet roll to festivals. Cowpole, we don't give Jack cowpole very much at all, but just in case we're going to be stuck in a field, I feel like we should take this. Baby wipes, everyone always says take baby wipes, so I'm just going to take loads because I figured that they're going to come in handy for something. Books for Jack, so even though there's going to be loads of stimulation at the festival, Jack loves books, and I feel like, for example, when we're putting up the tent, he's going to need stuff to do, so... Lots of books. Dry hair shampoo. So this is the stuff that I made myself and I'm definitely going to be needing this because I'm not going to be washing my hair, I know that. And definitely by the last day of the festival my hair is going to be looking kind of manky so I will be whacking some of this in. I'll pop the link to the video. Oh no, I haven't made the video for this yet. Porridge for Jack. So I'm going to take porridge for Jack and some other sort of ready meals just to have for when we might need food kind of quickly and we can't get back into festival and queue or whatever. Um, so yeah, porridge and just some ready-made meals, always my fail safe. Hand sanitizer, again this is some stuff that I made, mainly aloe vera, but yeah, I'll link to this little video below. Pillows for the tent, just for extra comfort. Wellies, <laughs> first aid kit. I haven't listed everything that we're obviously going to be taking, like pants and clothes and all of that stuff, because that's kind of standard holiday stuff, but I hope that I've given quite a good idea of some of the things that I think you might need if you go to a festival, and especially if you go to a festival with a toddler. Wish me luck. I'm kind of nervous. First time proper camping with a toddler. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm actually changing the day that I upload now, so I will always be uploading on a Sunday, not a Wednesday, on a Sunday. So check back in for more videos then. I will see you guys next time. Bye!
I'm just here with Jack now and we had one more piece of kit that we wanted to show you because they're just so cute and that is these wellies from Mother Care. Look at the little face, crocodile. Hopefully we won't need them but I thought just in case, better safe than sorry. You're a wriggler. Right, 